talks is actually focused on what we describe as the real faith. There are people who don't have faith in Nigeria, who don't have faith in Africa, who don't have faith in anything that is black and not their color. How do we create sustainable productivity to the point that no matter where you are, no matter what it is that you do, no matter the company in which you find yourself, you are always productive and then you are truly productive. There are two things or rather three things I always love to look at. Hello guys, you are welcome to The Real Talks Nigeria, The Real Talks Africa. Let me make one thing clear about The Real Talks. The Real Talks is actually focused on what we describe as the real faith. There are people who don't have faith in Nigeria, who don't have faith in Africa, who don't have faith in anything that is black and not their color. Why that may be described as racism. We also battle with the problem of tribalism. But today, we are not talking about racism and we're not talking about um, tribalism. We are talking about productivity. Productivity. How do we create sustainable productivity to the point that no matter where you are, no matter what it is that you do, no matter the company in which you find yourself, you are always productive and then you are truly productive. Now, when it comes to productivity, there are two things or rather three things I always love to look at. I always like to look at the products, the services and the source either the source of funds for what you produce and you know the service that you provide or we talk about services okay good let us quickly look at or ask ourselves three questions this is the first question the first question is who do you serve who do you serve and why do you serve whoever it is that you serve and then who do you produce for who do you serve who do you produce for and lastly who is your source who do you serve who do you produce for and then who is the source of whatever it is that you do now, if you look at it, when the children of Israel were in Egypt for 400 years, for 400 years, the children of Israel were in the land of Egypt. When they were to come out, God said just one thing, let my people go that they may serve me let my people go that they may serve me so the ticket for getting out of servitude was service let my people go that they may serve me so the person in this case to be served is god god but you, then you can also serve man if you're into business you can also provide services for men transportation, food, accommodation, these are services. Or if you work for businesses, if you work for multinational companies, if you work for organizations, you provide professional services for the people that you work for. So who do you serve? You can serve God and you can serve man. But when it comes to spiritual matters, let God be the only person that you serve. But when it comes to humanity, you can serve God through services to human, or you can serve humans directly. 